टैंक्स प्लेन्स सबमरीन्स न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब वट कम्स टू योर माइंड वेन वी से वर्ल्ड वॉर टू बट आर एंट यू फर्गेटिंग समथिंग कंफ्यूज वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट Back in 1941, the German Air Force dropped 711 kg of explosives on the streets of London. This attack killed around 1500 civilians. Nazis had already captured half of Europe. Britain would have fallen in about 4 weeks. But there was one man standing between Hitler's strategies and Britain. This is a story of how one man's mathematical genius helped britain win the war against germany yes you guessed it right today we are going to discuss about a device known as enigma so what is enigma enigma was a powerful encryption device used by the nazis to send messages in code during world war 2 when do you think enigma was developed during the war or just before the war You'd be surprised to know that Arthur Shabias, inventor of Enigma, patented it as early as 1918, more than 20 years before the war. It was soon adopted by the Nazi Navy and Air Force in 1926. Marian Rajewski, a Polish scientist, was the first to crack it using permutations. But decrypting the messages using permutations was time taking. Moreover, Decrypting messages during the war was impossible as Germans changed the machine settings every day. Secret communication plays a massive role in warfare and encryption is the most effective tool to achieve it. Click on the i button to more about cryptography and encryption. Now, let's look at how Enigma machine works using an example. A standard Enigma device consists of a keyboard, a plug board, a reflector and some rotors. Every rotor has 26 individual plates, one for each alphabet. These rotors could be manipulated by the user to change the pattern of the code. The plug board adds another level of encryption layer where letters can be further changed. The electric current triggered by the keys passes to the plug board which is the first level of encryption next it moves to reflector through the three rotors adding three more layers of encryption the reflector passes the current through the rotors again adding four more layers of encryption finally it passes through the plug board adding another layer thus a standard enigma device adds nine layers of encryption to an input Let's take the word hello. It would spell N G Q P Z after being encrypted through all the layers of enigma. Solving this through permutations would have presented over 107 into 10 to the power of 18 possibilities which would have taken them years to decode. To make enigma communication impossible to bypass during the war, Germans started changing the rotor and plug board settings every day. This made any effort to decode the enigma a futile exercise, and this in turn played a major role in carrying out the most devastating German attacks. Bombs, tanks, and boats were used to restrict the free movement of the british navy and cargo ships the british population though rattled were firm in their resolve with with america reluctant to help bodies were piling up in britain britain desperate and helpless was on the verge of losing but then in 1943 alan turing a war hero dressed in lab coat developed bomba an electromechanical machine to find loopholes in the nazi communication using words that were repeatedly used by the nazis like eins weather report and hail hitler every day 
Subscribe to our channel to watch an upcoming video on Alan Turing. You can also watch the Imitation Game on Netflix, which is a biopic on Alan Turing and his contributions in World War II. Bomba could decode the communications and also find the settings of the Enigma machine, revealing their strategies and putting a pause to their attacks. Also, it was effective against any new modifications to the Enigma machine. After the invention of Bomba, Nazi attacks started failing. They had lost the element of surprise that was necessary for their war strategy. Cracking Enigma also helped Britain's allies plan their strategies more effectively. Slowly, Britain started pushing back from the Western Front and Russia from the Eastern End. On 28 April 1945, Hitler's 56th birthday, the German capital of Berlin was attacked and captured, thus ending the war on the Western Front. World War II brought forward a new era where the war was not just won with weapons, forces or strategies, but also with math. With rumours of another war floating around, what kind of warfare do you think would be used in the next world war? Let us know in the comment section. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos.